I don't know if this will work or not, but you know what? I like seeing arrows fly through the air like crazy, so. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Tabs. Today we're starting off with some more viewer requests, and this is a battle of David and Goliath, basically. This comes in from Slash Death, that's an aggressive name, and he asked for one Valkyrie versus the Ice Giant, and the Valkyrie, if she can get lucky, should be able to take down this beast because uh, the Ice Giant isn't very good at dealing with things that are nice and close to him. He's got some really long arms uh, that do a lot of damage, but if you are within close range, as you can see, this Valkyrie is just kind of hugging his stomach and not getting hit at all and doing a lot of damage. We know the Valkyrie can do a lot of damage. We tested out the weapons, and the Valkyrie has one of the best weapons in the game. So, yes, David and Goliath, it's looking good so far, but one bad hit to the Valkyrie is going to kill the lady. I'm, I'm trying to get to the front. I can't. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, these guys are spinning like crazy. I gotta say, I think she's got it. Now, I have tested this a few times, and it doesn't always work, so it's actually kind of fun to see if this works or not because, uh... Yeah, every now and then the Valkyrie will win. Oh, damn, son! <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. The Valkyrie cannot screw up at all, or she does die. Let's see if she can actually do it, though. So far, so good. I gotta say, these Ice Giants, though, they have a lot of health, because she has been hitting this guy for a couple minutes now, and he is still not down. There we go! I think we got it, and yes... The Valkyrie won it after all. So yes, you can take down some of these ridiculously powerful units with special units that are really useful against their weaknesses. The Frost Giant, or damn it, the Ice Giant weakness is obviously close range. So the Valkyrie is always in that distance and she does a good job at staying there. Okay, and you guys know, being that Game of Thrones is pretty popular right now, we had to do the Battle of Winterfell. So on the red team, we have the humans, and then of course on the blue team, we have the living dead. Now this was suggested by Clawzon, and I really like his thought process in a lot of this design here. So we obviously have the two dragons on the sides over here. The three knights are of course Brienne, Jaime, and Beric. We have the king that is Jon Snow over here. Dothraki are over here. We got the wildlings in the middle, ten berserkers. And the Unsullied taking down the right-hand side as Hoplites, we have 20 of those. Now we can't forget, we got Podrick as the Squire here, and can you guess who this is? We have the Halfling as, of course, Tyrion. So, I love this design, it pretty much... The only one that isn't here is Khaleesi, but I guess she would technically be on the dragon anyways. Now over on the other side, I actually changed around his suggestions a lot. If we were to use halflings like he wanted, we would not be able to play this probably. It would be too laggy. So the, the undead did have swords, so I figured squires would actually be a good use. Uh, I also changed the king because he suggested using the ordinary king. I just feel like the scarecrow is the better option for the night king. And they have a dragon as well, so I think that's pretty much everything. Oh yeah, let's not forget, we also have the 10 spear throwers as, of course, the white walkers. So, uh, basically more of a strength and numbers strategy over here, and, uh, yeah, more of a thoughtful strategy over on the other side. Put your money on who's gonna win. This is obviously gonna be the end of Game of Thrones right here. This will answer the question on who wins the war. Guaranteed. <laughs> All right, here we go. The wildlings are jumping in first, of course, and I don't think they're gonna last too long, but look at that. They're already taking out a few good men here. And there we go. We got the Dothraki coming in and supporting with some spears in the back. What else do we got going on here? Catapults have not shot off yet or anything. We got the king kind of hanging out. It's actually slowing down the catapult here. Uh, did the Scarecrows get shot yet? No, they did not. So we are just seeing the start. Basically, the squares right now are taking the heat. Oh, that's not going to be good, though. We're going to get some friendly fire there. Wow, that took out a lot of these squires, though. Oh, I am seeing some crows flying around, so he must have threw off his crows already. Now we got the dragons coming out. Oh, man, you guys are... You got so many squires in front of you that you're going to kill. I mean, I guess he's going to kill his team anyways as well. We're actually going to have a dragon war here. This is actually... Uh, pretty cool. All right, looks like the blue dragon stopped shooting for some reason. I guess it has nothing in range. All right, we do have one of the knights coming in, and he's not going to like this too much. The dragons are actually going to do a ridiculous amount of damage, I think. And yeah, look at this. Squires, there's not many left. 
It's looking like the humans are taking the win right now. The red dragon did beat the blue out, I think. Well, they're on their last legs at least. What else do we got? Wow, that was, that is just flying into space, man. Uh, and they have to take out, let's not forget the crow. Now, if this guy gets fired, he's screwed. But if he doesn't get fired, the undead might actually win this. Actually, we do have a knight over here as well, and a lot of the Dothraki did survive the fight, and obviously all of our five catapults too, so yeah. All we have now is the king. It's not looking good, but I appreciate that the king was the final thing alive. He stayed till the end, and he had a spear to the nuggets for the kill, I think. there. It's hard to tell because the fire was coming in too. So yes, yeah, so obviously the humans, wow, that was... Remarkable the amount that they won there same price by the way I don't know if you noticed that but uh, exactly the same price uh, So that's what happens when you mix up the units and actually use good units and not just a bunch of squires like the undead So yeah, I guess the humans live on in Game of Thrones the Battle of Winterfell was a complete success in their favor They did lose a lot of good men, but they survived the war or battle I should say it's not the, the war isn't over yet all right, so we're gonna get back into the Dynasty campaign now. Keep those viewer requests coming in. We always do a couple of them at the start, and once we're done the campaigns, we'll be doing a lot more of that as well. Anyways, what's this one called? Notes and Arrows Revenge. There's the notes, there's the arrows, and I guess they're taking their vengeance on us because I think we had this fight kind of before. So yeah, we got squares we gotta deal with. We gotta get those catapults down as quickly as possible. So I'm thinking the Monkey King. We definitely want one in the middle. That's gonna keep these guys really busy. But actually, being that we have so many arrows, we're gonna want some samurai as well. So let's get some samurai spread out between these guys. That's it for this. Let's see if this works. I hope the Monkey King doesn't die by the arrows because that would be a big waste of money here. Gotta get those squares down so we actually go for the units that are actually dangerous. There we go. All right, the Monkey King is out. And, oh, this is gonna be bad unless they can kill him quick. There we go, he's just taking down everything. And how's the other side doing? Oh, we actually lost everyone on the other side. So all we got is a few good men left, but I think we have more than enough to deal with these guys because they are range-based units and extremely weak. And yeah, now all we got is a few good squares. So complete success. The samurai. I gotta say, I love the Monkey King, man. Whenever I throw the Monkey King in here, I feel like these uh, this dynasty faction does amazingly. Uh, I guess we got one more guy. Come on, samurai. There we go. First try. We got a victory. That feels pretty good. Wow, that's a lot of kings. Kings and bows. Okay. I guess that's why there's a lot of kings. All right. Honestly, I think firework archers will do really good here, keeping these kings at bay. So we're going to throw a couple firework archers, or a lot, I should say. And I know what will work extremely well here is just a dragon, but that's too easy, man. Let's let's try and, and strategize this a bit. We're going to spread out our units. We're going to have some ninjas over on the sides, keep these guys hopefully busy. Ninjas should also beat archers in close range fight, I think. Uh, but also we'll throw a couple good monks in there to keep these guys busy and uh, hopefully not getting our firework archers dead because they're pretty important for this. But I guess that's just because these kings are going to take a lot to take down. So let's actually throw... Oh, I guess that's all our money right there. I didn't realize monks were actually that expensive. But pretty much every unit in this faction is actually really expensive uh, compared to the other factions. So I think that's a good spread. I don't think we're going to have much of a problem here. That being said, it all depends on how good these firework archers do. It looks like they are keeping these guys busy. I wonder if that blast radius actually affects us as well. Like, if it's on the king and it explodes by us, will we get damage? Let's find out, because this guy's got a lot of fireworks on him. Got a lot of everything on him. Oh, uh, So yeah, that definitely looks like they do take a little bit of damage. It's not looking good right now. They got three kings left still, though, but these ninja stars are going to take down that health extremely quickly. I mean, look at that. Look, look at that belly zone right now. These ninja stars are just going crazy. And still the firework archers are getting some in, but we didn't need to worry much because, yeah, that was a complete success again. Now, I had some troubles with these dynasty uh, fights earlier on. But, yeah, now it actually seems pretty easy uh, to deal with these units. So, I don't know if we're getting lucky or if, uh, yeah, the dynasty faction is one of the best factions in this game. Should I do the Monkey King? Actually, I feel like that's a bad idea. This actually looks like a really good formation, so we might actually have some tr some troubles here. That, or we could just put a dragon down and win the game again. But again, I like to try and try different things out. So let's actually throw some Watchas in the back. Or is it Huacha? I think it's Huacha. I don't know. And, well, we have 250... Well, we have 500 left, sorry. Uh, but we need 250 for each side to keep these guys busy, so... Actually, I think two Samurais will do well here, and one Samurai over there. 
don't think this is going to go well. This is a lot of money spent on one unit, basically. And they have shields as well, so it's going to be hard to get into those. We do have a little bit of distance between us, but of course, we're freaking dumb. Damn it! Why would you do... Oh, just stay back there. Just chill. You're a siege weapon. Let them come to you, please. Uh, and yeah, that's why I didn't really think this would go well. We need a little bit more money to utilize these siege weapons. So we're going to get rid of those and retry from the start. Uh, once again, not really feeling this strategy. But hey, I want to see some fireworks go flying everywhere. Look how fast this guy is spinning. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. There we go. Maybe we can do this. If the firework archers actually stay defensive like this guy, we actually might be good here. Mind you, there is a lot of units left. We got this side obviously lost. We got some firework archers that are still up on the roofs. Don't fall down, man. Just stay up here. Let them come to you. Where do the snakes come from? Oh, they have snake archers. That's right. Okay, so we got to worry about snakes as well, and that's going to be bad for us because those snakes can get up to us really quickly. And we jump down, so that's not very smart. There's a snake in front of you. You're dead. And I think that's the last guy as well. What's going on here? Ah, oh, another weird way to hold your weapons. I love it, man. We're going to put two more firework archers up top. We're going to put some monks on the side to deal with any units that do get by. And we have one samurai for good luck. All right, this should be good. Don't get in the fire zone, monks. I can't let you do that. There we go. We are doing lots of damage right now. It's actually... Maybe this is not going to go as well as I thought. Wow, someone really hit that dragon hard. Watch out, you're shooting your friends over here. Okay, well, looks like we're not doing too good, actually. Wow, this was actually... We got we got a lady punching a, a Sarissa over here. Did she actually kill him? Wow, that's impressive. Uh, but yeah, it's looking like we're going to lose this one as well. Much closer of a fight. So I feel like the dragons are the answer, but maybe we got to mix this up a bit. Okay, we got snakes we got to deal with. The samurai should be hopefully okay at dealing with that. We took out pretty much that whole faction. They are... Wow, this is going way better this time. It was probably just an unlucky chance with the dragons the first time. Because look at this. This guy... How did you survive that fire zone there, man? What are you guys doing over here? I don't know. I don't know what was going on, but we did so much better that time. Like, maybe it was the samurais, but I feel like it was just random luck. Minotaur delivery. Okay, so same strategy as before, kind of, except this time they have a minotaur in the middle. This, again, I mean, it should be just dragons all day, every day, because, like... If, if, if they can't get around us, they're going to have a hard time dealing with this. I mean, honestly, how much are we going to... Wow, okay, so it actually charges right away. Um, that might be why this is going to be hard. We're going to keep the dragons there. We're going to have a an army in the back here. We want a little mixture of everything. Firework archers, yes, please. And that's all we can do because we spent all our money on monks once again. So I'm hoping... Oh, jeez, I can't... I clearly can't drive the camera very well. So the Minotaurs did not survive that. Wow. I missed what happened over there, but we had a freaking dragon explosion. Oh my god, it's pushing the dragon. He's stuck over there. I love it. Okay, so she he's still beating up everybody. I love the Minotaurs, man. They are so fun. We got firework archers that are keeping these guys busy, but this actually was a complete fail. Like, look at how many Sarissas are left. How did the dragons not kill these guys? All right, we need a few good shots with these archers here, because that's all we got left. This Minotaur is still beating up people over here. Please kill him, monks. Oh my god, the other Minotaur Minotaurs over here now. All right, all we got is a few good firework archers, basically. And these Minotaurs are just beating everybody in the streets right now. There we go. Kill him with those fireworks, please. Did not kill him with those fireworks. Oh, God, you guys need to, need, need to land quick. He's going to beat you up. Oh, you missed. You missed too? Are you serious? There we go. We need some explodies. I'm seeing things going on over here, too. Oh, my God. Oh, this is not good. This is actually really close. But, yeah, <laughs> How did you survive so long? Oh my god, he took dragons to the face, fireworks to the face, and that wasn't enough to kill him, clearly. Alright, well, maybe we gotta try something new. It's gonna be basically Minotaurs versus Monkey Kings. We'll see who wins. I feel like the Monkey Kings got it, just due to their duplication attack. It's gonna be uh, a weakness of the Minotaur here, because he needs to get lucky and grab the right one. Here comes the Monkey King. We got fights going on. Monkeys are going crazy on both sides, probably. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this Minotaur over here. Monkey King's still alive. There you go, duplicate. So he doesn't know what's going on. What's going on on the other side? Sorry, guys. I know we have a split up fight here. And I know how much you hate me missing the battles. But, you know, sometimes you just got to try your best. Is the Monkey King still alive? It's so hard to tell. There we go. Okay, so the uh, both the Minotaurs are down, I think. Wait, who won? Okay, thank God. 
Oh, I looked away for a quick second, guys. Sorry, that was actually really hard to uh, record because there was such a spread out of fights. But yeah, the Monkey King survived it. That was really close, though. That was the final unit, and uh, probably with one unlucky hit, he would have died. Zeus and other folks. I'm assuming these are all the folks right here. So basically, once again, a wall. I think a watch off this time will actually work really good. So, you know what? Actually, we could probably just do two of these. Let's just try this for fun. I don't know if this will work or not, but you know what? I like seeing arrows fly through the air like crazy, so... <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I love it! Reload quick, guys, please! Okay, it's already reloaded. We actually might do this. There we go. Problem is, it's shields, so dealing with shields is gonna be fun, and yeah, we're totally screwed. That was closer than I thought, though. I just wanted to see a bunch of arrows fly. We gotta get that Zeus down quick. I'm gonna put the Monkey King over on the other side. Maybe he'll sneak by. I don't actually know, but yeah, the dragon will hopefully at least get some of these units down before he dies. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yes! Yes! Come on, dragon bro! Kill Zeus! Oh my god, will the dragon do it alone? I don't know where the monkey king is. Oh, he's behind us right now. Zeus is trying to kill him and he couldn't! Zeus couldn't kill a basic dragon unit. Look at that. I don't even know what it was aiming at. I think Zeus needs to work on his aim right now, because if he would have arced a shot through all four of these ladies, that would have been the most useless unit ever. We actually did that whole battle without the Monkey King at all. He was playing catch-up. So yeah, all we needed was one dragon. Talk about lucky. All right, guys, and on that, we're going to wrap up another episode of Tabs here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out some more viewer submissions and nearing the end of the Dynasty campaign. We have six levels left, so there's probably one more episode, and that is it. You are giant, good sir. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this campaign. We still have the challenge campaign, or at least some of the challenge campaign we got to do. And after that, we've done everything that we can in tabs. So keep those viewer requests coming if you guys are enjoying this game. I never noticed. Oh, no, it must be the, uh, my, this, oh, wow. I have a really big fisheye lens on this camera. I thought it was very lopsided, the map. But no, it's just, it's just the actual direction of my camera. So I should probably fix that because I think my field of view is a little bit weird right now. But yeah, I'm going off on a tangent. That was a really fun episode, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this Dynasty Faction campaign because I am personally loving it. I'm excited to see where the final few go, and we'll probably be doing that in the next episode. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.